Today, we are speaking with Cora about wild kids in the wildlife. Cora's project, Wild Kids in the Wildlife, focuses on helping teens take action against climate change. Many teens feel powerless when trying to find ways to help the environment, especially when their parents don't want to help. Cora focused on smaller and low-cost everyday things that will create change if everyone does their part. Recycling, reusing, and reducing were key aspects that Cora focused on to help the environment. Welcome, Cora. What problem is your project focused on solving, and who is in your target market? Um, so my project focuses on helping kids who feel helpless trying to take action against climate change. Teens around the world see the effects of the declining environment, and it's young kids who have to live with it, so they want to do something to help. Unfortunately, teens aren't in the position to buy an electric car, sustainable en energy, or vote for any decision being made by the government. My project focuses on helping those kids that just wanted to do their part. Can you share a story about something you learned from interviewing people in your market uh, earlier on in your project? Uh, one thing I encountered was a beta tester who wanted to start by recycling, but whenever she tried, her parents or other adults always said that she was doing something wrong, which made her not want to recycle at all. During this interview, I could see her frustration, and I learned that a lot of people still need to be educated on what to recycle. But I also learned that some teens don't want to make a mistake and look silly. This is just a fun picture of my beta tester, and in the interview, she said how it was random things like aquaphor that she had no idea whether to throw away or recycle. Yeah. Uh, can you describe the first experiment that you conducted as you're working on your project? So the first experiment that I conducted was the recycling challenge. In this challenge, I gave my beta testers the list shown on this slide, telling them what can be recycled in the state of Delaware. I told them to keep track of what they recycled and asked them if they thought they recycled more. This was very early on in the experimental process, so part of what I was trying to learn is how much they were willing to change their habits and learn. And this was a good low-risk experiment to try. I found that my beta testers were willing to change, and they recycled a lot more after being informed. I learned that lack of knowledge could be preventing people from helping the environment, and that my beta testers really do care. And what were the results of that experiment? So on this side is a picture of everything my beta tester recycled after receiving the list. And she said before she recycled maybe two things a week. So this is definitely major improvement. Yeah. And so what was your next experiment? So another experiment I conducted was challenging one of my beta testers to a full day of eating clean. This is a really difficult challenge because when you look at where food actually comes from, it can be really harmful to the environment. During this experience, I was trying to learn what my beta tester had access to. Luckily, my beta tester finished the challenge with a full day of clean eating, taking pictures of everything she ate. She even turned on Wawa to finish the challenge. <laughs> I learned that my beta testers have access to eating cleanly, and I learned that this wasn't necessarily a problem that they were facing. And that's uh, led you to your latest experiment that we're seeing here. Can you tell us about it? So these are beeswax bags. It's wax paper that can be molded to fit any shape bag or a bowl to cover. I wanted to test how willing my beta testers parents were to changing their habits and trying something new to help the environment. My beta testers really liked these bags because they were reusable, but they didn't take up as much, up as much space as a plastic container would. Their parents also really liked these bags because they were easy and I gave the bags to them for free. With these, I was able to help my beta testers show their parents that they really cared about the environment, but I also showed or found out that people love cheap and easy to use product, products. Here's a beeswax bag being used as cling wrap on the right over a bowl and a bag holding chips on the left. How did your understanding of the problem you were solving develop over time? My earlier experiments were mostly challenges that helped people understand that they were actually able to do things that they thought they couldn't. But because it was a short challenge, there's no promise of consistency. After the beeswax bags that my beta testers still continue to use, I learned that the problem was less of them not knowing what to do and more of them not being able to help. Their parents were a big obstacle in them helping the environment and the beeswax bags really helped them stop using bags without their parents having to go buy a new product. What's next for your project? Moving forward, I plan to reach out to more people to find who else is in the same boat as my beta testers. There are many people who are very similar to my beta tester in this picture who now knows how to recycle. I plan to continue looking into cost-efficient ways to help the environment. I plan to help my beta testers make progress with their parents, and together we will all help the environment, which will make a much bigger difference than if one beta tester was doing it. 
What is the top advice you'd give yourself if you were going to start this process over? I would tell myself not to be afraid of reaching out to people. I feel like so far I've only really talked to people I'm comfortable with about this problem. In the beginning, I talked to a lot of different people while interviewing, and I should have kept that up while I focused on my topic. Also, new beta testers would bring in new ideas and new problems that could have changed my project for the better. And finally, what was it like going through this process in a cohort with other teens? Going through this process with other people was a very different experience. I found myself comparing my project and progress to others when I shouldn't have. There weren't any grades to compare, but I remember sometimes I felt like I needed to do more for my project after hearing about what others did in a week. If anything, it pushed me to make this project come along quicker. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much, uh, Cora. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us uh, today to talk about your project and a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. Uh, Cora, Cora, congratulations on graduating from the Social Innovators Program. Thank you.